Liberia has a water crisis. In a population of 4.5 million people, 3.7 don't have a decent toilet, 3 in 10 don't have clean water, and over 700 children under 5 die a year from diarrhea. Two civil wars have devastated the country and wiped out infrastructure, forcing it to take a giant step back in clean water and sanitation. Some hope that's about to change. Enter Bobby Whitfield, head of WASH, National Water Sanitation and Hygiene Commission. It has four goals, manage, expand, and sustain services, increase access to environmental, sustainable water and sanitation services, manage systems and step up monitoring, and improve sector financing. Liberia cannot do it alone. It needs company money coupled with private funds. And the goal is to save Liberia and also become a commodity hub, exporting water all over the region and into landlocked countries. A big job with big risk. I recently caught up with Bobby Whitfield and I asked him how he plans to address all of these issues. Cost Liberia almost 17 you know, million dollars in the economy just by not having safe drinking water in the country. What does success look like in that metric? Look, uh, uh, open defecation is a major challenge. So we got about 64% uh, of our population stay practicing open, open defecation. Wow. We're crafting the roadmap to end open defecation in the country. Mm -hmm. So by you know, within the next five years, we should make open defecation history in Liberia. And this is where we are calling on our development partners, but as well as investors, people to bring in new, you know, innovative solutions. So in your models, when you sort of look out, how much is all of this going to cost you? Look, uh, according to our sector investment plan, Liberia will need no less than $155 million per annum from now to 2020, I mean 2030 in the past two, three, four years. Uh, the stats shows that we've been in investing, that is uh, all of our NGOs and development partners and government contribution together, we've been investing a uh, little on, you know, four to four million dollars. So we are really, really short. So you have a big shortfall. Who makes that up? Well, the shot for, uh, as we speak, government is coming up to the challenge mm -hmm. a bit uh, slowly, but our, our economic uh, is also a serious challenge, the economy, and, and we got a lot of priorities as government. Tapping into the private-public partnership. So we are looking at investors to come into Liberia. We want to attract investors into, you know, the country and look at how we... Um, a look at water in a different way. Water is a commodity. Apart from being a human right, it's also a commodity. Mm -hmm. The technology of piping water, uh, piping oil and gas already exists, you know. Why can't we look at that innovation for the water sector and start to pipe water into countries that are seriously, you know, uh, facing drought and water stress? How's that going? Look, uh, are, are, are it's, 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 those, are, those are ideas that we are still throwing about. Those are things that we are still thinking about. But uh, first and foremost, we want to make sure that we got basic coverage water throughout the republic. No one is left behind. And then you look at uh, maybe exporting water as a, as a right. nation. But what about how, what are you doing to entice private companies to come in? Look, what we've been doing so far is uh, basically in the, in the regulatory cycle, we've been introducing ourselves, defining our rules as mm -hmm. a new commission. Uh, and, and part of that is uh, a lot of uh, visibility, advocacy, you know, or promotions and what have you. So um, the next uh, uh, phase of the regulatory cycle is where we really do data collection. We want to make sure that we get the data accurate when we are reporting about Liberia, you know, water coverage and all of this stuff. So data collection, information management, sharing, and then the next stage is where we, you know, actually do monitoring evaluation. So monitoring evaluation as part of the regulatory functions is very important for government because if we want to, you know, uh, measure the work being done by some of the NGOs in the partners or businesses in the, the sector, uh, the, through our monetary evaluation, we can get that done. But, but you mentioned that water is a commodity. Yeah. What can you do around that thesis to help bring more money in, like ways to sell it to other countries or something along those lines? Look, water, water is the next oil or gold. Water is the next big thing. And I think uh, Liberia, as a water-rich country, uh, should be taking into serious consideration a lot of uh, manufacturing industry in the, in the West. Uh, I, I, I haven't 
issues in terms of their water consumption and water usage. And, 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 and I, I read a story somewhere where, you know, water is trucked into a factory just to manufacture textile. And I said, wow, if this was Liberia, you wouldn't be trucking water. You can just get water off the ground. So we are looking at our investors uh, thinking outside of the square now, or outside of the box now, and looking at countries like Liberia with so much water to see what, how do you move some of the manufacturing industry into Liberia. Thank you.